barbershop in Enfield? Well, it's good as to be expected. I had most most all our customers, yeah, mm -hmm. that lived there. You were the only one in Enfield by yes, then, I guess. Yes, I was the only one there, yeah. I had some from Belchertown, Pelham. Yeah. Where would the next nearest barber be? Belchertown. Belchertown. And where, I guess, would have a barber? And where. Yeah. Yeah. What did you charge for the haircuts? Well, I got 25 cents and 35 cents for the adults at first uh -huh. when I was there. And I got 40 cents. How much was the shave? The shave was 20 cents. 15 and 20 cents. 15 cents when we started, when I started. Was that with the long straight razor? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Did you have a whole row of uh, bottles of different kinds of tonic and yeah, cologne? Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, in the old barber shop? Yeah, that's right. The old barber strap yeah. back and forth. I yeah. still have my barber shop mirror right in the barn there. <laughs> <laughs> I just bought a little mirror and a chair. And I don't remember where I got it, but I did and had it set up. <laughs> you had a lot of the surveyors coming in. Well, the, the, yeah, the engineers and surveyors. Engineers That's how I got to know a lot of them. Yeah. Yeah. I took the place over after he left. I rented from the state. I, I don't remember, $15, I think I paid for the barbershop a month. You said the state had already taken that building over by then? Oh, yeah, yeah. The state had already taken it over. What building was it in? Oh, I don't know. I'll show you some pictures. Do you, want to, do you want to see him? Daddy, right? was that the Phillips? Did that take up too much of your time? Phillips, did the Phillips have a grocery yeah. store there? Yeah. The Phillips was... grocery store on one side of me and a butcher shop on the other side. Did you know a Norman Heidel? Yes. I just talked to him uh, last week. You did? Yeah, he's one of the people I interviewed. Is that right? Yeah, he lives in Springfield. Well, if I'm you right asked him he's, he's about Joe Meadow. Jelski that had the barber shop, well, I think he probably, would know. Yeah. Yeah. I think he mentioned your name. He lives well, in his East father Longmeadow. must be gone. He must be dead. Yeah, I believe so. Oh, sure. um, and his wife also. Is, she's, he lives by himself now. Isn't that right? Mm. Yeah, because his father was old, a lot older. And, you know, I was a young fella then. So yeah. I first got married. Well, a lot of people have mentioned your name uh, as Jelski, you know, yeah, using that name. Yeah. I've heard that many times. And that's oh, why yeah. I wanted to try to track you down. but. <laughs> I couldn't do that until I found out what your real name was. That was that was the holdup. Uh, I see. It was Jelski. Oh, as I told you, yeah. the mailman in Yonkers done that. He, my sister, came over to visit us with her husband, and uh, that's how I understand that we got the name Jelski from the mailman. Yeah. She insisted. She insisted we use it because they were getting. A lot of mail mixed up, just Snoka, I guess. So we took Jelski, and of course we didn't know any different. The know, name I, didn't Jelski didn't mean anything though. Huh? No, it wasn't no, a name that was no. in your family. No, no. It was just just a thing he wrote down. From what I heard, the story was that he wrote on our on our, all our mail Jelski, so he know who it is, <laughs> and we took that name Jelski. <laughs> they just, they come from the old country, so they didn't bother them much. <laughs> Strange thing. Yeah. A lot of people change their names, but they usually change it to an English name. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. Well, where they, they simplified the name they started with, they didn't make a complete change. Yeah, that's like right. That. So anyway, I got, I wrote to, uh, as I say, to uh, the church. Uh, Pete did. Pete Resnick here wrote for me, and got my birth certificate. So I changed it after that. And my license and everything else changed, mm -hmm. just as soon as I found out. Yeah. From Pete. When you went to school, what did they think your name was? What name did you use? Well, we used Jelski. Yeah. I used Jelski right along till. And I did too. <laughs> really, you started out then? That's right. right. Up until I graduated from high school. Isn't that something? Yeah, it is, and it's all because of somebody, almost like a joke, to change the name that way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very. Yeah. 35 years ago, it's been. Yeah. 
But all through school, like if you went back in your school records, they would they say Jelski. Jelski, that's right. If you went to Amherst, where I went to school, yeah. they would. If you asked who Dorothy Jasnoka was, never heard of her. But if you asked Dorothy Jelski, fine. Same with Barber. <laughs> Joe, Joe Jelski, the yeah. Barber. Well, that's what everybody always told me, and that's why I had trouble tracking right, it down right, right. until I well, found even out. Even when I go oh, visit, right. uh, go to Amherst, because I have my youngest daughter works in the bank up in Amherst. If I see the barber that lo lives locally, he'll say. Everybody says, say hi to Joe Jelski, the barber, you know. They came down to get their hair cut, and they yeah. want to say hi to Joe. Yeah. 